Okay, okay, okay. Previously on Dreamhouse. Hello, Mike, Todd, and Alex struggled with heavy equipment. I had no idea what I was doing. And narrowly avoided financial disaster. No, I definitely don't have a thousand dollars extra. Now, the guys gear up to pour their foundation. We're kind of proving that we can do this and we can do it right. But shocking news sends them into a tailspin. Without this issue resolved, I can't go any further on this. And the dream is in jeopardy. That's the age old lesson never assume anything. Four weeks after breaking ground, demo's done, digging's done. Construction's beginning. It's finally time to lay the foundation for Mike, Todd, and Alex's new addition in San Diego. These three college buddies have already spent more than a half million dollars to buy this 865 square foot home just blocks from the beach. Our mortgage is 3,300 plus taxes and insurance. The house is perfect. Except for one small thing. There are only two bedrooms in the house. So I'd say that's uh, problem number one. It's only a one bathroom. So until the addition and new master suite are finished, Todd is sleeping in a camper. It was kind of novel when I first moved out here, but now that winter's kind of set in, it's a little bit chilly. Kind of quietly, just dropping the, let's get this done, you know, every once in a while. Hopefully we just get this done fast <laughs> so we can get out of here. And to save money, they hope to pour the entire foundation themselves. Because none of us have enough money to finish this project. And they have to do it around their full-time jobs. Our life's pretty busy as it is right now without trying to build a house. They definitely have their, uh, their work cut out for them. So Mike's dad, hey, Jay. who is a mason, it's... has flown in from Colorado yes, to help. So, looking good, gentlemen. Looking good. Having Mike's dad here signifies a point when we needed a definitive expert. I'm excited to work with him again. and I think it brings a lot to the project. It'll help us you know, save money, which is what we're all about. There's just one week to finish the job before Jay Anderson flies home. I'm excited to do it. I'm, I'm nervous. Yeah, as well. Yeah, we're going to see how good your hole is. We've definitely been rushed in doing some of this, so it's kind of uh, been a little stressful. And the backyard still is not ready for concrete. I don't think they realize how much prep would be involved before they ever even got to <clears throat> set the first piece of rebar. <laughs> Debris from the old patio must be cleared so Todd's trailer can be moved out of the way. Somehow I've been in charge of the concrete. <laughs> Who delegated me that, you know? And the new foundation must be staked out properly so it can pass inspection. The big part of this laying out the foundation is obviously getting all your numbers right, making sure that everything's square, your heights are right. He knows what he's doing. He's already uh, shown me that by running the string down parallel to the house. It'll actually be the outside edge of the footer, so we'll be able to tell how straight my digging was. Todd and Alec, you know, haven't done a lot of foundations, and I think they were both fine with, uh, with doing the, the concrete. If they want to keep their muscles small and feeble, well, we become strong and, and yeah. enough, that's fine. I think they understood what everybody needed to do and what we wanted to get done and needed to get done and who needed to do it. I mean, I don't mind. I'd rather be doing that and learning about it. You only need three people to measure a tape measure. Now they're actually doing work. They're digging and stuff now. So we can, you know, go do some manual labor for them now that they've done all the measuring. Your dad just caught two things. One of them is that the floor choice is right. a two by eight. Jay just made a huge, huge save. The existing structure is um, sitting on two by six floor joists, and the new construction is going to be two by eight floor joists. And so we were going to be off by two inches on the finished floor height. Not having any experience, in, it definitely is a drawback for him. I knew that this wasn't eight inches, I just wanted to ignore it. 
This is the first time since work began that someone other than Mike is in charge. It's uh, nice to have uh, an actual pro here. I don't have to be calling the shots and telling my roommates what to do and what we need to do next. I just want to be able to do what I know I can do to help them kind of, you know, move this project along. And by the end of the day, the foundation is laid out. Yeah, I think we did real well today. Inspectors should be able to see everything that they required. But it takes the rest of the weekend to finish clearing the debris. It's nice to see it that way. And move Todd's camper. Power steering is always a plus. I'm getting you the wrong way. I got like, I got like, there's two of us driving. I don't really know what's going on here. I haven't had belts or pants for the last two days, so it's kind of nice to get that back. And the inspection is set for first thing Monday morning. The inspector's going to be delightfully delighted tomorrow. And if we can get concrete tomorrow afternoon, then we should be in pretty good shape. We're kind of proving that we can do this, and we can do it right, and we can do it cheap, and that's our goal. It kind of hurts, you know? <laughs> it almost kind of hurts. But the dream hits a huge roadblock. We were ready just to snap, 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 and do it all. And pressure builds to save the dream. It's just stupid. 